Hobart's floating bridge was an engineering marvel connecting Hobart's western shore to the east. The structure has now been declared a National Engineering Heritage Landmark. Under the shadow of Hobart's Tasman Bridge, this metal pin is almost all that's left of the floating bridge. It was built in 1943 during the Second World War, crossing the River Derwent from west to east for the very first time. People forget that engineering is not just bridges and roads, it's actually about creating opportunities for Australians to move forward. The bridge was designed by Tasmanian hydro dam engineer Alan Knight. It was the first of its kind in Australia. 24 reinforced concrete pontoons stretched almost one kilometre across the river. Each one weighed 1,000 tonnes. There are not many floating type bridges that are done on a permanent basis like this. Uh, it was entirely uh, concrete except for the lifting session and so floating concrete is not something most people think about, they think it sinks. The effects of the floating bridge are still felt today. The period of the floating bridge was remarkable in terms of the growth in currents. The population grew from 5,000 by a factor of six up to, uh, to 30,000 just over a space of 21 years. Tasmania's governor recalls wet and windy crossings during winter months. Yes, I've got very distinct memories of the old floating bridge and I particularly remember um, travelling over the bridge in storms when waves would wash over the sides and occasionally some of the panels would be broken. The floating bridge was replaced by the Tasman Bridge in 1964. Jane Ryan, ABC News.